Hey everyone, Mr. Gizzard here. Um, this video is to briefly describe my new, well, fairly new, uh, MSI, or I guess you can see it better this way, MSI netbook um, that I bought, um, I would say, two months ago. Um, this is a fairly, sorry, I was looking at my phone, it's ringing. Um, this is a fairly good note netbook, I should say, because the keyboard is very big on it. Um, the other netbooks that are good with big keyboards are HPs, but they tend to be very expensive. Uh, this one was only $350 uh, for a 10 inch screen, Windows XP, uh, home edition, uh, but it has a very, very large keyboard. Um, it's very nice. I'll show you the keyboard in a little bit. It's almost full size. The only thing that I hate about this keyboard that it just, I mean, I'm pretty good about typing now with it, um, but you gotta keep always in the back of your mind that these keys are really close together anyway. These keys right here, the shift, uh, the question mark and the period button right here, these are very close together and they're very small keys. So you go to hit the period, which is a very, you know, common button that you'll hit like every two seconds probably. Um, you might hit the, you know, the forward slash uh, button by accident, uh, which I always do um, and it really pisses me off. but. You know, I always, I'm getting better at it, just trying to keep my fingers over a little more to the left than I usually would on a regular keyboard. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm talking about this is because I upgraded it um, a lot. So, the way I upgraded this netbook, you can probably buy this netbook for about $700, the way I upgraded it for only about a little over $100. So, I, so this netbook, right now, the way it is, is was is only about what four fifty four hundred fifty dollars total. Uh, what I did was it came with a fifty four hundred RPM, hundred and twenty gigabyte hard drive, um, and that's really slow. I hate hard drives that are lower than seventy two hundred RPM. They're just so slow, and it it took like I don't know like a minute to start up the computer when it first came to my house. Um, what I did was I bought on Newegg.com. I bought a very cheap, I think it was like $80, somewhere around there, uh, 80 gigabyte, 7200 RPM notebook hard drive, threw that in here, made it at least double the speed, uh, which is awesome. Um, you know, you, you lack a little bit of hard drive space, 80 versus 120 that came with, but who the heck saves crap on their netbook anyway? I have another computer at home for where I save stuff, and I, I always save to my little USB drives anyway. There goes all my stuff off my desk, but... My USB drives. I always save stuff there. I never save stuff to my netbook, um, so I don't care about space here. Um, what I also did was I flashed the BIOS to the, I think it's like 1.9, it came with like 1.7 version BIOS. I flashed it to 1.9, so that enabled me to uh, overclock, <laughs> got a mind block, brain freeze, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, but I upgraded, overclocked the processor in it to 1.9 gigahertz. Uh, stock, it's 1.6 uh, with this Intel Atom processor right here. Um, so I upgraded the, flash the BIOS. You have to flash it first or else it won't let you upgrade the, um, the CPU. Um, but I flashed the BIOS to 1.9 version. Um, you have to break this little warranty sticker right here. But supposedly if you call them MSI up, um, they let you, they send you another sticker or something because they let you up overclock the processor, which is freaking awesome. Um, no other company, not no, no HP will not let you do that. Um, so really, you get a 1.9 gigahertz processor in this thing uh, just by o o overclocking the processor, calling them up, making sure it's okay with them, which it definitely is. Um, I just don't have time to call them, so whatever. I mean, I probably could anyway right now and call them, whatever. Um, the last but not least thing I did was upgrade the RAM in it. Now, the MSI notebook, netbook, I don't know about any of the other ones, but the MSI maxes out at 2 gigahertz, uh, 2 gigabytes, I'm sorry. 2 gigabytes um, RAM. So, if you buy a 2 gigabyte RAM card chip, which I did originally, it does not work. It'll, it won't read it. Um, so, it, on board, it has 1 gigabyte of, of memory. It comes with 1 gig of memory. I bought a, a two gig chip of memory, it didn't work, I returned it and bought a one gig chip. So right now it has two gigs of RAM, it has 7200 RPM hard drive, and it has a 1.9 gigahertz CPU. 
Um, so this is a very fast netbook uh, for only $450 total versus what you would buy this for with the upgraded everything in it. Not the BIOS and not the CPU upgraded, but the upgraded hard drive and the upgraded RAM. You could buy this for like $800, $700, whatever. I upgraded it myself, saved a bunch of money. Um, but that's it. And I got these cool little stickers, these little eyes that are on it from my Guitar Hero game. Uh, it looks kind of cool because when I have the case up when I'm in school, the eyes are like looking out at you. So it's kind of cool. And MSI, if you're wondering what MSI stands for, it stands for MicroStar International. They make motherboards and they make a couple other things um, usually. And they make really nice computers also. And they let you upgrade them yourself. They, they actually let you. They send you more other warranty stickers to like, so you don't void your warranty, which is awesome in my opinion. Um, always be careful when overclocking. You might want to check out some other videos. Maybe I'll post one later on about how to overclock. Um, you don't want to jump into overclocking like, you know, you don't you don't want to just jump into like 20% overclock or you'll fry the CPU and you'll fry everything in your computer. So you want to do it increments at a time to see where your computer will like stay stable at. So anyway, upgrade your computer, upgrade your own devices, save a ton of money. Uh, hope this video helped.